Hi there friends, Signal Hunter here. It's a perfectly dreary day here. Southern Germany. It's raining and wet. Can't work outside. Can't do nothing. But at least I'm nice and dry in here. So what's Signal Hunter doing? Well, I'm not watching TV. You know what I always do? Walk around and talk to myself. Listen to some shortwave radio. I think that's CRI. I'm going to turn it off here. You know, I really don't like China International Radio. I don't like really not that much. But the other day I was listening to uh, Mailbag, CRI Mailbag, and it was, it was pretty good. I kind of enjoyed that one, so I thought I might tune in and listen to it again. So what are we looking here? We're looking at a antenna I built. Built it for a couple of different reasons. I was bored. <laughs> anyway, this is a multi-band antenna. And I call this the Signal Hunter. Is it an original idea? I don't know. Could be somebody's built another one like this. I don't really know. But I based the design off the Wyndham antenna anyway. And uh, as you see, almost in the center is a lead in not a feed point we're not worried about feed points this antenna I should say it's a multi deployment because you can deploy this antenna four different ways uh, you can deploy it like a sloper a horizontal random wire any number of inverted L shapes that you want to try or oh upside down <laughs> or as I went to Carolina Wyndham so the antenna is 12.5 meters long it's made out of four millimeter stranded wire all the connections are soldered and insulated except for this one I want to show you that I soldered them all you want your antenna to be electrically correct a lot of people limit their radio's capabilities by having a poor antenna system and they're not that expensive and they're not that hard to build if signal hunter can build one you can build one but one of the reasons why I came up with this idea is because let's face it shortwave listeners we all don't have the perfect location to uh, deploy an antenna you know 10 20 meters off the ground it's just impossible because some of us we have small gardens some of us lives in an urban environment and it's just impossible so you I wanted to build an antenna that would be the best antenna I could for a limited space and that's this 12.5 meters and you can deploy it in any number of different ways and you're gonna get different results and it's a good antenna you can even build this antenna out of co old coax cable very easy to do oh I didn't explain it to you though did I? <laughs> okay maybe you wanna make the antenna 50 meters long or maybe you wanna make it 30 meters long well how to how do you know where to uh, uh, put the connection for the for the uh, Wyndham okay what you do is you find 50% of your antenna find the end and then come back 28% so this formula will work on any length you want to do 28% and then you cut into it right there and uh, oh what a pretty solder job <laughs> so anyway everybody don't have ideal conditions for all that kind of different antennas and that's why I came up with this it works. One of the best antennas on the market, um, the PAR InFed shortwave listening antenna. <clears throat> uh, I think it's in a neighborhood of 12.5 uh, meters. And uh, I saw some antenna, antenna uh, modeling software one time. Now, I think Greg had it. And it says the ideal uh, length of a shortwave listening antenna is 10 meters and uh, 
So that par in fed antenna came close to that being a little over that, uh, maybe 12 meters. But I had a lot of experience with 12.5 meter wires and, uh, and they work good. And you can DX just like you can with anything else. And uh, all of this antenna in the Wyndham configuration without a transformer, it will be noisy because the Carolina Wyndham is omnidirectional as far as I understand. And, uh, but the Wyndham works extremely well for medium wave. So uh, here's my transformer, 9 to 1 and a 4 to 1. All together in one box. I'm still working on that. But without a transformer, it'll be no, it'll be a noisy antenna, especially in an urban environment. Okay, well, that's about all I got to say about it. If you have any questions, you can, or I left anything else, you can, you can remind me later or correct me later in the comments. Okay, you guys have a great DX and day. And with that said, Signal Hunter is out.